Dear Dina, I recently realized my mother-in-law stole several of my prized possessions. It seems my husband's brothers, who helped us move when we lost our home, took the items, obviously at her request and with her approval, instead of placing them in the storage unit as instructed. I'm furious at her and my husband's brothers. How should I deal with this? I want to confront her and let her know I'm aware of her betrayal, but my husband is a great man and I hate to hurt him in the process. When I told him I was aware that his mother had stolen from us, he said he would make it up to me and that his mother is old, she's 81, and I should let it go. However, every time I visit her home and see my things, it hurts. How should I deal with this? I feel raped. Signed, Furious in Frederick. Oh. I so get that. That's a strong word, by the way. Mm. That R word is mm, a very yeah. strong word. Yeah. And I think in this context, it's appropriately yeah, used violated. Right. Violated, for sure. Oh, my gosh. Danny, when we talked about this earlier on Dear Dina at 745, you had mentioned that the ultimate betrayal is the one that comes from within. Mm. I agree. Mm. I mean, there is something that's extra owie mm. in our hearts when it's our family our friends, those who we consider to be the ones that have our back that love us. Mm. You know, it's different when a coworker betrays you or just an acquaintance. You're like, meh. But when it's someone that is supposed to have your best interests, and oh, man, that hurts. So we are hurting here mm. with you. This a second time. Yes. I want to know, it's her prized possessions. It wasn't like the mother had given them something and took it back. Right. It sounds like they were hers. Right. And that's even worse. I didn't even think about that the first time around, but this right. is this is a no go. Okay. Husband needs to stand up for her oh, and, and say this yes. I'm sorry. I agree with you. And you know what? You know, we talked earlier kind of in jest that the mother's eighty one, probably won't be around long. Well then she won't have a long time to be upset, right? <laughs> Take the things okay, back. Girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's just, you know, it just really no. irritates me. Those right. were. That's very, very hurtful. And I yeah. agree with you. We talked earlier about the husband needs to do more than just make it up to her. Yeah. Because there is that ultimate betrayal that yeah. happens. So I, yeah, that is like such an alley. Mm. So we are giving you a hug. Big, big hug. Big yes. Big hug. And we are sorry, sorry that you're in this. And yeah. definitely don't go to your mother-in-law's house for a while. Yeah. You don't need to torment no. yourself like that. And if they don't understand, that's their problem. I say take them back. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> no, we're, I was going to say, we'll, we're in on it. But no, 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 no. We, <laughs> our hands need to remain clean. <laughs> So, Dear Dita, some advice for you. We've got it for you. You can take it or leave it. Click on Dear Dita at Key103Radio.com.